The structure of aldehydes and ketones are characterized by the presence of a carbonyl group. The R group may also be an AR group or an aromatic moiety. Here are examples of aldehydes. One with only carbonyl group is called formaldehyde. With two carbons is acetaldehyde, propionaldehyde, butyraldehyde, and benzaldehyde. These are common names. With regards to the IUPAC names, we name aldehydes by using al as suffix in place of the e at the end of the alkane name. Thus, formaldehyde can be named methanol. Acetaldehyde is ethanol because it contains two carbons. This is named propanol because it contains three carbons. This one you may be able to name by yourself. Aldehyde functional groups bonded to a ring are named using the suffix carbaldehyde. So benzaldehyde can also be named benzene carbaldehyde. For this type of compound, the aldehyde group is attached to a cyclohexane ring, so it's called cyclohexane carbaldehyde. Ketones are named using own as suffix. For common names, we call this acetone. This compound here contains a methyl group and an ethyl group attached to the carbonyl. So common naming uses the alphabetical ordering. We call this ethyl, methyl, ketone. If you are going to buy this reagent, manufacturers often name it starting from methyl first. So common name can also be methyl ethyl ketone. This compound here is commonly named acetophenone or methyl phenyl ketone. In IUPAC, we use the name propanone. It has three carbons. We just change the E in the alkane name to own. So we get propanone. This one is butanone. And this one is called 1-phenyl ethanol. The carbonyl is given the lowest possible number. In cases where the location of the carbonyl group needs to be specified. For example, in this compound, we can put the carbonyl group at this position or at this position. So those two compounds should be different. Now, in our case, we should specify 1 and 2. So the name of this compound is 2-pentanol. For the case of this compound here, we have a chloro group and a carbonyl group present in the molecule. The basis of the numbering should be the carbonyl. So here we can count from this location 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this compound is 6-chloro-3-hexanol. Again, in this compound, the numbering will be based on the carbonyl group. So the name of this compound is pent-4-in because the double bond is at position 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 ohm. When taken as a substituent, the acyl group is named by replacing E with oil in the alkane name of the substituent. This compound is called P-acetyl benzene sulfonic acid. The acetyl group is attached to the ring at the para position. Now, acetyl can be simplified by just writing AC, but in standardized nomenclature, we can call this 4 ethanol benzene sulfonic acid. Several preparations of aldehydes and ketones have already been discussed in our previous topics, so I'll just enumerate some of them. The first one here is the hydration of alkynes. If you use uh, this reagent combination, you will produce the aldehyde or a ketone, depending on the position of the triple bond. Friedel-Crafts acylation will give you aromatic ketones. And 
oxidation of primary and secondary alcohols can also give you aldehydes and ketones. And lastly is the ozonolysis of alkenes, which will also give you aldehydes and ketones depending on the substitution of the double bond. Aldehydes and ketones have dipole moments because of the carbonyl group. The carbonyl group has an oxygen atom that is electronegative, which will pull electrons towards itself. This will be partially negative, and so the carbon will be partially positive. Thus, it has dipole-dipole interactions between each molecule. And this dipole-dipole interaction enables it to have a sufficiently higher boiling point compared to alkanes. Nevertheless, they have lower boiling points than the corresponding alcohols. If you would compare acetone and propanol to propanol, the boiling points of these compounds are relatively lower, but they are higher compared to butane. Low molecular weight aldehydes and ketones have appreciable water solubility due to hydrogen bonding. This is exhibited by ethanol, formaldehyde, and acetone. They are all very, very soluble in water. 